hello guys and welcome back thanks for clicking so how to read the quran with understanding so these are the safe guide on how to read the quran with understanding by dr zakit Naik. so let's check it out previously when automobiles were introduced the first time in india people did not know how to drive so whenever you purchased a car the company along with the car the company also gave you a driver. Once a Nawab, a famous Nawab, a very rich man, he buys a car. So along with the car, the company also provides the driver. Mm. One day in the morning, the Nawab Sahib, the rich multimillionaire, he tells his driver, I want to take my Begum Saiba. I want to take my wife for shopping. Please get the car ready. The driver replies, Nawab Sahib, the car is not in working condition. Hmm. Nawab Sahib is very angry. Put the car back in working condition immediately. So the driver says, to put the car back in working condition, I require 10 liters of milk, hmm. 20 kgs of pure honey, 30 kgs of pure ghee, and 40 kgs of rice, that also basmati rice. So Nawab Sahib, the rich multimillionaire, he gives the driver 10 liters of milk, 20 kgs of pure honey, 30 kgs of pure ghee, and 40 kgs of rice, that also basmati rice, top quality. The driver gives it to his wife, and within a few minutes, the car is in working condition. I am asking you a question. Today, if your driver tells you that to put the car in working condition, he requires 10 liters of milk, 20 kgs of pure honey, 30 kgs of pure ghee, and 40 kgs of basmati rice, what will you do? Hmm. What will you do? <laughs> will you give it Lala, to him? You go. What will you do? You, dry, uh, you leave. You will kick him out of the job. Yes. <laughs> Why? That's Even though you are not a mechanic, mm -hmm. you know how to drive the car. You know very well that a no, car no runs on gas things. and petrol. It does not need run on milk, and rice. ghee, <laughs> rice. You know very oh, well. Yeah. Even though you're not a mechanic, you know the basics how a car functions. Similarly, today, if you know the basic message of our Creator Allah mm -hmm. subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you know what our Creator Almighty God has mentioned in His last and final instruction manual of the Quran, no one will take you for a ride. You will understand your deen much easier. No one will make a fool out of you. There are some people who tell me, the brother Zakir, suppose if you're driving a car, and if you have a temporary license, temporary license is a kacha license in India, temporary license, and if you have an accident, you know, the police will give you a small fine. If you have a permanent license, and if you have an accident, the police will give you a bigger fine. Therefore, if you don't read the Quran, and if you don't understand the Quran, and if you make any sin, God will punish you less. If you understand the Quran, and then if you commit a sin, then God will give you double punishment. <laughs> you know, very good logic. So why do you understand the Quran? You know, behave like a person who have a temporary license, and enjoy life, you know, less punishment. I told this brother, for sake of argument, I agree with you. That a person who has a temporary license, mm. a person who has a kacha license, if he has an accident, maybe the police will fine him with a thousand rupees or a thousand dollars. And if a person who has a permanent license, if he has an accident, maybe the police will fine him double, two thousand rupees or two thousand dollars. Okay, I agree with you. But the point to be noted is that if a person who has a permanent license, in one year the chances he'll have an accident is maybe one. Mm -hmm. But a person who has a temporary license, who has not learned driving well, the chances he'll have an accident in one year is maybe 50. So at the end of the year, the person who has permanent license pays a fine of 1,000 rupees or $1,000. And a person who has a temporary license, he pays a fine of $50,000. A person who has a temporary license pays $1,000. A person who has a permanent license pays $2,000.
So if he has an accident once a year, at the end of the year, he pays a fine of $2,000. And a person who has a temporary license, maybe he'll have 50 accidents in a year. At the end of the year, he pays a fine of $50,000 or 50,000 rupees. Okay, this was a good example though, but I don't know why he did not talk about... I don't know, this is a different title to the title is different from the conversation or the message he gave because mostly he gave an example and i was thinking he was going to come to a conclusion that okay this is how you now read since if you take your car to the mechanic and the mechanic says oh yeah bring food bring drink bring this bring that you somebody that because everybody knows that the car needs fuel the car what the car needs is different food is for the body instantly you will know that no this person the uh, he just want to chop <laughs> he's not ready to do anything he just want to benefit from me from you so after giving this example i was expecting you to say that okay you just like you reading the quran if you don't read the quran to understand you don't read the quran to to apply these important things in the quran then how will you understand Allah if you just really know there are some things you need to do to be able to you know connect with to Allah? I was expecting you to talk about you know the Quran, Allah, you know how to read the Quran and how to understand and digest the Quran. But regardless, that was a good example in which one can apply. Even though the examples, though the number one example, everybody knows that. No, normally car does not need food, oil, all those kind of things. But it was leading to somewhere. I'm sure this this is this video is not complete. This is just part of the video. And I hope I just wish the person that combined this video was able to, you know, put the conclusion into the video why you should read the Quran and understand it. But regardless, it was a good one. It was a very good video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.